success is not the key to happiness happiness is the key to success if you love what you are doing you will be successful jai hind and a very good afternoon to mr prafull tarera our dean dr punam nigam faculty members and all the students of iiebm i andrea dususa mc welcome you to this session of the orientation program for the batch 2023 2025 It's my honor to now introduce Mr. Prafull Tarlera. Sir, may I have your permission to proceed? Thank you, sir. Mr. Prafull Tarlera has an experience of over 36 years in the supply chain management industry. Sir possesses a diverse range of academic qualifications, including a Bachelor of Commerce degree, a Bachelor of Communication and Journalism degree, and a Bachelor of Law degree. He co-founded and built Dynamic Logistics with his late father and brother from modest beginning to enjoy the first mover advantage in the Indian logistics industry. Dynamic Logistics is the pioneer of the third-party logistics concept in India and its claim to fame is having introduced the just-in-time inventory system in Tata Motors and has also had the distinction of having set up the first dry port and the first air cargo complex in the private sector in India. building a great dna as his contribution to dynamic logistics and his vision to building dynamic logistics into an institution sir has traveled widely to 48 countries across the world and has led and been a member of various indian delegations abroad education is a passion with him and he has been a guest faculty at i i am a i am and dabad the johnson business school at cornell university the university of warwick babson college in boston symbiosis and many other educational institutions besides social organizations and clubs sir holds memberships in various prestigious organizations and committees he has been an athlete during his school and college days is now an avid trekker and an ultra marathoner he also summited mount kilimanjaro in tanzania in february 2002 without any further ado i would now like to invite sir to address the young minds present here So I'm gonna take you round the world in an hour. You've heard round the world in 80 days, 90 days. Uh, so I'm gonna take you round the world in 30, uh, one hour, 60 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so the topic is, I can promise you, once you listen to my presentation, you'll never look at the world map which is there in the same way again. You'll never, ever, ever look at the world map in the same way again, because that's where all the secrets lie. Right. So let's begin. Just take a minute to read this. It's a totally different perspective. A very, very different perspective. We have all seen the world map before. You must have seen it a million times in your lifetime till now. But look at this. It's a very different way to look at the world. See, this is the 70-80-90 principle. We all know 70% of the world is water. Actually, 75% of the world is water. 70% is the saw, the seas and the oceans, and 5% is the freshwater systems, right? And 80% of the population, which we don't know, most of us don't know this, lives within 200 nautical miles of the sea or the access to the sea. 80% of the world population lives closer to the waters. and it's getting shorter despite people saying that the seas will rise and everything people still want to get closer to the ocean and the sea this is happening as we talk and 90% of world trade goes by sea the cheapest form of transport is water then railways then road and then there right so remember this the cheapest form of surface transport is water Where is this uh, computer? आज उधर है क्या? So I ये एक आ जा. So I'll just tell you this ancient shastra India हमारे संस्कृति में है ना इतना डी परीक्षा, right? The system which we have. So the seven chakras, all our endocrine glands, right? From all our hormonal system, everything is linked to this. You know, your health is linked to this. so these are the human meridians we use for physiotherapy and everything right and this is the prime meridian the prime meridian is in london greenwich we all follow gmt greenwich mean time 
Now this is a purely arbitrary line. This God has not drawn. We humans have drawn it. And more specifically, the Britishers have drawn this line. See, in our ancient India, we had this line running through. How many from Ujjain here? MP? So it was through Ujjain. If you go to a Pandit to make a Janam Patri, he'll say, Aapka Janam kaan hua tha? Or Samai kya tha? So our timing is, our prime meridian is Ujjain. In ancient Rome, they had Rome. So this is a very arbitrary line, but drawn by the British. We are locked into it because we follow GMD. And unless someone comes up with a far better way of doing it, we will be stuck into GMD. So this is a given. And that's how the lat-long grid was born. We all use GPS, yes. right? So the lat-long grid has come out of the meridian. Somewhere it has to be zero. So zero is GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. Oh God, I'm stuck on that side only. <laughs> huh? You can operate this? OK. Here, take this. Because otherwise, I thank you. So this is Sir Halford Mackinder. Please make a note of his name. He is considered to be the father of geopolitics and geostrategy. This gentleman, read up on him. Very, very fundamental thinking. Sir Halford Mackinder. He is the person who started the first department of geography. Ham log Hindustan yon kya bola? Bhu gol hai. And we left it as that. Ham na aage kuch prove ni kya ki bhaiya ham ja ke aate gol ghoom ke aate hai. We will prove it to you that it is round. We said it's goal and we are right. It's not that we are wrong. But we didn't teach. See, a lot of people don't want to learn geography. But understand geography is a very, very important subject. Extremely important. So he started the first department of geography in Oxford University in 1892. And then he was also a director of the London School of Economics. Why am I telling you this? Geography, he's considered to be the father of geopolitics and geostrategy. If you Google him, Wikipedia, he's the father of geopolitics and geostrategy. And he understood economics also. See, geography and economics is geoeconomics. So you understand geopolitics and geoeconomics. Our Hindustan, mein, we don't teach these subjects. No college, no institution teaches this subject. Neither do we, do we teach geopolitics, neither, neither do we teach geoeconomics. And this is what is so important in the world today. Geopolitics and geoeconomics. Next, please. And this guy is Admiral John Fisher. He's the second most important admiral the British have produced. And he served on a ship called the HMS Calcutta, which was built in India. The second most influential naval admiral. He identified these, as per the Nadi Shastra sort of logic, which are the choke points of power. Now, what is a choke point? Next, please. See, this is a choke point. A fasi ka fanda hai. No, like a tie, a knot, right? You can choke. So the, when do dogs are trained, they use this technique. So when people, boys wear their ties, they're smart enough. Because, yes. No, you can <laughs> fold. Next. So this is how it operates. Just a simple choke. Next, please. So he identified these choke points. I'm not going to read this. I'm going to take you through it. Next. Next, please. So these are the choke points of the world. Right? These 11 points, primary and secondary, this is how everything goes. Everything in the world is this. Now I'll take you through from left to right. The first one is Panama. Most of these are, are again, tax havens. Pura dunya ka paise ka golmal bhi idhar hi pe hota hai. You have you heard of the Panama Papers? Who apna bichara fasa hua hai na, the Prime Minister from Pakistan. What's his name? Shabazz ka bhai, Nawaz Sharif. Amitabh Bachchan bhi fasa hai Panama Papers mein. A lot of people from India, Mr. Poonawala, <laughs> Panama Papers. So a lot of money is used to 
rotate and you know, through these same points. Next, please. So this is the Panama Canal. It's a canal which connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. And it's like a staircase, mind you. That canal, you won't believe it, but it's like a staircase. Upar jate because the levels between the two oceans are different. Next, please. So these are seven locks there along the canal. Next, please. See, this is how it goes. Next, this is Panama City. That's where all the money is <laughs> churned up. So I'm trying to connect every choke point to a city. So remember it. There is a movie of Meryl Streep. I forget the name of the movie. Try and see it. I'm going to tell you to see a lot of movies. Make it very interesting for you. OK? So Panama City. Now the Panama Canal and the Suez Canal, both these big canals of the world, were built, by, uh, were conceived by the same architect. He was a French architect by the name of Ferdinand de Lesseps. And he only conceived it. He started the work. They completed the Suez Canal. But the Panama, they couldn't complete. The French couldn't complete it. The Americans went and completed it later. Next, please. So now there is a, this is the Panama here. And uh, there is another canal which the Chinese want to build. Because th there is more traffic in Panama than in Pune City. Chocka block, back to back, the ships are going. They've just widened the canal recently. But there is huge traffic and a lot of money to be made there. Because it saves a lot of distance, I'll show you later. So there is another canal which the Chinese want to build in Nicaragua. So there are a lot of problems in Nicaragua now. There is guerrilla fighting and a lot of problems. The Americans don't want that canal to be built. A lot of, lot of issues. Right? Next, please. So the, actually, they wanted to build the Nicaragua Canal before the Panama Canal. But then they chose Panama. Next, please. See, uh, this is Panama here. This thing here, no? this is Panama here. That joke, small thing. Now, if you can't go through there, you have to go right around. You understand how important it is? The Americans will need two navies if they don't have Panama. If they don't have Panama, they will need two navies. One for the Atlantic coast, one for the Pacific coast. Otherwise, you go right around there. Right? Now, right around there is Cape Horn at the bottom. Next, please. This is Cape Horn, the southernmost tip. And that is supposed to be the Mount Everest of the Capes. It's so difficult, you can't take a ship from there. It's almost snow and icebergs and all that. You're bound to have a Titanic there. So that is Cape Horn. Next, please. So this is a route taken, that red, uh, those red arrows was a, a route taken by Ferdinand Magellan. He was the first person to go around the world. Ferdinand Magellan. That's why they're called the Magellan Straits. Next, please. This is the satellite photo of the Magellan Straits. See, you see that? All that is snow and ice. So you can't go from there. You can't take a ship there. Next, please. So this is, the again, a satellite photograph of the Straits of Magellan. Ferdinand Magellan couldn't complete his trip. He was a Portuguese. He, would, he couldn't complete his trip. But the ship came back home to Lisbon. But he died on the way in the Philippines, I think. Next, please. These are the Falkland Islands. There's a movie you should see, The Iron Lady. All you ladies should see this. The Iron Lady is the story of Margaret Thatcher. And the Brits control Falkland Islands, which is 8,000 kilometers away from London. S there are more sheep there than men. There are more sheep there than men, but they will not let go of this island. Because it's very strategically located, you can monitor what is moving around there. So the Brits wanted to, they sent in a nuclear submarine. The Argentinians won those islands back because they call them the Malvinas. They are their islands. They claim that these islands belong to us, but the British will not give them. They threaten them with a nuclear submarine. That's how important. 
See, if there is any, if at all there is a third world war, a third world war could happen if anyone tampers with any of these points. The only way a third world war can happen is anyone tries to finger these issues, <laughs> these 11 points. Next, please. And this is the southernmost city in the, in the near Cape Horn, Ushuaia. Okay? If you want to go to Antarctica, this is the place you have to go to. From here, you can go to Antarctica. Next, please. This is the rock of Gibraltar. In Greek mythology, it's called the Pillars of Hercules. Hercules ka story suna hai na? The strong man, right? You should see that movie. Hercules, this is the Pillars of Hercules. The rock of Gibraltar. It's a seven and a half square kilometer of island. Kitna hai? Sade saad kilometer ka square, square kilometers ka island hai. In this mountain, there are, it's full of guns. It's, yeah, <laughs> there is a full armory inside the mountain. Next, see that's where Gibraltar is. The only entry from the Mediterranean Sea into the Atlantic and from the Atlantic into the Mediterranean is through the Straits of Gibraltar. This side is Africa, lower side is Africa hmm? and that is Europe on top and that is Gibraltar there. If you control Gibraltar, you control the entry exit into into the Atlantic and to the Mediterranean. So you can imagine what will happen to all the Mediterranean countries. Right? Next, please. See, this is the rock of Gibraltar. This is the airstrip. This side is Spain and that is UK. That seven and a half kilometer, square kilometers is UK. Right? Next, please. This is me at Gibraltar. Next. <laughs> See the English channel. One more movie for you. See the Dunkirk land. See Dunkirk. D-U-N-K-I-R-K. Dunkirk is on the French side. Hmm? Dunkirk is a movie how Winston Churchill was made Prime Minister. And he mobilized the whole British fishing fleet to move all the people, soldiers out of Dunkirk. In Pune, in Kirky, and in uh, the Pune cantonment, there are Dunkirk lines by that same name. Huh? There are roads there. So this is half the traffic of the world goes through the English Channel. Half the shipping traffic of the world goes through the English Channel. And who controls it? The English, obviously. Right? It's called the Straits of Dover also, but more, it's more famous as the English Channel. Next, this side is France, and that side is England. And all the three big ports, the three biggest ports of Europe, are in Europe, uh, on the European continent, and they are ahead of the this state of Dover. See, this is Dunkirk here, Dunkirk here. This is Dunkirk. So please do see that movie, Dunkirk. You'll understand what it's all about. The whole allies, the allied forces were holed up in Dunkirk and the Germans were going to kill them within a week if they were not evacuated out of Dunkirk. So that's when Winston Churchill says, get all the fishing boats of England and get the soldiers out. There are a lot of Indians stuck there also in Dunkirk. That's why we have Dunkirk lines in Pune and in Kirky. So all the three big ports I was telling you of Europe are ahead of Dunkirk, up there. The, 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 port, the biggest port in Europe is Rotterdam, second is Antwerp, and third is Hamburg in Germany. So all the three ports are up there, and they can be choked there. You get it? That is why the UK has quit the European Union. They have a lot of leverage over the European Union. They can choke them here. Unka pura jana hai, pura sabband. This is possible, and that's what's in case of war. Next, please. 
is a satellite photograph of the Straits of Dover. Next, please. See, from your, this is, you are in France, and you can see the white cliffs of Dover. So that is England. So this is France. You can see it. It's not very far. Next. The fourth is the Danish Straits, Denmark. You know, the, you must have seen that star on the trucks, on the big boxes, Maersk. Maersk is the biggest shipping line of the world, and it's headquartered out of Copenhagen, which is in Denmark. Tiny little country, but the shipping, the biggest shipping line of the world comes out of Copenhagen, Denmark. Here again, the Russians cannot get out of the Baltic Straits unless they come out of Copenhagen. There is no other way. The Russian submarines or Russian fleet cannot get out unless they go through. This is Copenhagen area. So they have to go through this place only. There is no other way. There is absolutely no other way. Right? So this is the fourth choke point. Next. See, this is Copenhagen. Right? You see that? They are all islands. And this is Den <laughs> this is this white is Denmark. It's a tiny little country. And this is the only way to, for the Russians to come out. They can't come out. Next. See, this is the mermaid of Copenhagen, the most famous symbol of Copenhagen. Next, please. The fifth one is Istanbul. In 1453, Constantinople fell to the Turks and became Istanbul. Hmm? 1453, mind this date. See, I'll, this has a bearing for India. 1453, Constantinople became Istanbul. Within 40 years of the fall of Constantinople, 40 years, the Americas were discovered. The whole Americas, Christopher Columbus, in trying to find a way to India, because the Turks choked the land traffic, the spice route, the silk route into Europe would go through here from Istanbul. Half the city is in Asia, half is in Europe. Istanbul is a very interesting place. Half is in Asia, half is in Europe. And the Turks choked the route. They wanted a higher tax. And that is why the Portuguese and the Spaniards, which are on the outermost part of the European continent got out by sea trying to find a route to India. This is the reason. So within 40 years of the ch choking of Istanbul, Christopher Columbus landed up in America and he thought it was India. That's why it is called the West Indies. <laughs> right? But it wasn't India. So Vasco de Gama, so within 50 years, India, 1498. So 1453, 1492 and 1498. Within 40 years, the Americas were discovered. Within 50 years, Chris, uh, Vasco de Gama landed in Calicut, Coicut, right? So this is what happens when you tamper with the choke point. And look at the history of the world now. To give you an idea, Russia is, we are one and a half time zone. How One and a half. For convenience, we follow Indian Standard Time, which is one time zone we follow, right? But people who live in Calcutta will tell you things start much earlier in Assam and Calcutta than this part of the country, right? But we have one and a half time zone, we follow one time zone. Russia is 11 time zones. Can you imagine? 11 time zones right from Japan into Europe. For convenience, they made it nine. Massive country. Look at the world map and you'll realize how Russia is bigger than Africa, whole of Africa put together. You can imagine how big Russia is. Now again, the problem of Russia is they have everything. They have gold. You, you just name it and they have everything. The problem is, what do you do with gold? You have one million tons of gold. You're sleeping on a bed of gold. You're eating gold varak. Eating at, sitting at a table, golden table. Everything is solid gold. But if you can't sell it, what is the value of that gold? And why can't you sell it? Because they don't have ports. Their ports are frozen. 
eight to nine months in a year. And the ports are in the Black Sea and in the Baltic. And then Vladivostok on the east, near Japan. So the Americans want to choke them. They want to keep them frozen there. That is what is happening. And that's why the war in Ukraine. You understand? This is why the war is happening there. Because they, do, they are not willing. They will fight. And you know how many people Russia lost in the Second World War? The largest loss of life in the Second World War was the Russians. You know how many Russians died in the Second World War? 2 crore 70 lakh Russians died in the Second World War. So you have to be maximum I am taking outer limit in the Ukraine war. Not in that many must have died. So Russia will fight. How long they will fight? <laughs> they can fight. Because they have no dearth of resources. Energy, chao jitna hai, everything they have. So they will fight. And because they don't want to lose the access to the sea. See that uh, Black Sea grain deal. No, you must have heard on TV. Khanani Arabhar. Ukraine is a big farmland. It's like Punjab. Ukraine is like Punjab Haryana. And this part of Russia also is like Punjab Haryana. A lot of water, a lot of food. Now that food is not coming out. And that's why the food prices have gone up. The inflation in the world has gone up because of. And that's why Istanbul is here. See, this is Istanbul here. Yeah. So this is the only route for them to come out. There is no other way. And that is why Istanbul is broking the deal for the grain deal also. Right? Next, please. This is Istanbul. See, the church which was here, the Greek Orthodox, the old Orthodox church, you know, the Constantinople was the Roman Empire. So the one church is the Western Roman Empire, which is the Vatican. And the Eastern Roman Empire, the church which was in Constantinople, that is the church which went to Kiev. This church, this is the old Orthodox Christianity which the Russians follow. So this church went to Kiev. Okay? Now you have these mosques. The oldest mosques in the world, the first mosque in the world is in Istanbul. And there they worship Christianity as well as Islam, the Hagia Sophia. Next, please. See, here you'll understand the whole picture now. See, this is Copenhagen here. And this is St. Petersburg, Russia. So the Russians can't get out of here. They are locked. And this is the Black Sea. And this is Crimea. And the ports of Novorus, the Russian ports are here. And there is Odessa here. So they can't get out again here unless they go through Istanbul. Istanbul is here. Right? You get it? There is no other way for them to come out. I will show you also. Sorry for the repetition. Because this is a very nice slide. See, this is Copenhagen here. Yeah? This white is the Baltic Sea. The Russians, this is St. Petersburg. They can't get out. This is the only port they have here. And here is the, this is the Black Sea. And this is Crimea. And this is Odessa here. And the Novorysk is here. Novorysk, the Russian port. So they can't, and this is Istanbul. So they can't get out here unless they go through Istanbul. Right? So this is how Europe is. And the dark green is Greece. Greece is part of the NATO. Next, please. Here you get the idea again here, Turkey and Greece. So Cyprus. Cyprus is half with the Greeks and half with the Turks. Cyprus was with the British again earlier. Next, please. This is the Suez Canal. If you take these two fingers, the shorter one is the Suez Canal. Huh? The longer one, sorry, the longer is the Suez Canal and the shorter one is the Gulf of Aqaba. Aqaba is a port here in Jordan. And this triangle here on top of Jordan is Israel. You know, Israel is, what is the size of Israel? The size of Pune district. Itna sa hai. The size of Pune district. And the population also the size of Pune district. 
8 million people. But look at the location. And that is why they hawk so much of new space. Because, see, there is a Suez Canal here, and there is a Gulf of Aqaba. There is a possibility to build another canal there, which was surveyed by the British in 1905. This Israel was built. Israel was built as a nation after the Second World War. The idea was born during the First World War, implemented during the Second World War, because they can build another canal there. They had surveyed it long back. Next, please. See, this is how the Swiss. Here you can see. The triangle on top of the second one, this side, that Gulf of Aqaba, is Israel. And this is the Suez. Next, please. The satellite photographs of the Suez. Next. City of Suez. Next, next. See, this is the Dead Sea, Red Sea Canal, which I was talking about, which can go through Israel. And that is why Israel was created. See, dunya mein ek yaad rakho. You know, jang ki hoti hai? There's an old Urdu saying. Jang ki hoti hai? Jang is ladai. Ki hoti hai? Teen cheezo ke liye. Zar. Zar, you know everything. <laughs> zar is gold. The word zari comes from zar. Zoru is women. You are the cause of so many fights. <laughs> Yahan pe bhi kitne log ladte honge kya malum? Ha? And zameen, territory, right? So war has been fought right through the ages for millions of years for zar, zoru, zameen. Period. Ladai mat karo, bhaiya. Next, please. See, this is the. Now this is part of the peace plan, the Palestine. Israel peace plan, this is that this canal, this peace conduit, Obama has been talking about it, Biden, everyone, they, 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 this is what it is. Next, please. See, this is again the Red Sea, Dead Sea Canal. See, the Dead Sea is a very unique sea. It's a Dead Sea. There are no fish in it. They can't live in that. And it's so salty that you will float. Even if you don't know to swim, you will float. You can't drown there. But it's too salty. I've been there, you can't. My wife was in there and she can't swim, but to make a stand also was difficult. That's how difficult it is, the Dead Sea. Next, please. So, Red Sea, this is again, you can see that fingers there. Those two fingers I told you, the Swiss and the Akapa and Israel. That. And next one is the Bab al Mandeb, the Gulf of Aden. This is Aden here. Either a civil war horizon, North Yemen and South Yemen. Mein. South Yemen is being pushed by the Iranians, North Yemen by the Saudis, or Ladai Hori Udar. Right? Big war going on, civil war. Next, please. So, this is Aden. Next. See, this tiny little country is Djibouti here. It used to be a French colony. Now the Chinese have gone and built something here. The Russians have built something in Eritrea. And Aden was with the British earlier. You know, have picture of Guru? Dhirubhai Ambani ki picture? So Dhirubhai was working in Aden before he started Reliance. Aden was a British colony. Till 1967, the Indian rupee was the currency of Aden. I live in a house which used to be called Aden Villa. It's an old Parsi house, 100 year old. It used to be called Aden Villa. And the currency of Aden was the Indian rupee. See, now they are building a twin cities there. You can make a note of it. The Al Noor cities. And they are building a bridge here. This is Asia, this is Africa, and they're building a city here. Ha, one in Yemen and one in Djibouti. And they, those, that city, those Al Noor cities, they're twin cities. They'll be better than Dubai. So the best Indian contractors are all working there now, sub, as subcontractors. And you know who got this contract? Who got this contract to build the, that bridge? It's called the the bridge of horns 
दैट इज कॉल्ड द हॉर्न ऑफ अफ्रीका राइट वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट किसको मिला सोचो आप एल एन टी सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टर हाँ द बिन लादेन कंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी सुना है बिन लादेन के बारे में हाँ उसको दिया कॉन्ट्रैक्ट यू कैन गूगल इट एंड रीड इट अल नूर सिटीज द बिन लादेन कंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी हेज गॉट द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट टू बिल्ड दैट ब्रिज दैट ब्रिज इज गोन कॉस्ट एट्टी थाउजेंड क्रोड्स इट इज गोइंग टू कनेक्ट अफ्रीका टू एशिया एंड दोज टू सिटीज विल बी बेटर देन दुबई You will see them. You might want to go there. <laughs> Next, see this is Dubai. See in that tower, there are a lot of sensors there. <laughs> Next, please. See this is India, Iran, Russia. The corridor which we have built is called the North Track Corridor, North South Transport Corridor, from JNPT into Bandar Abbas. This is Chabar. This is a port which India has built. we put more than 200 million dollars india has put in there and we double track the railways there this is the caspian sea and this is georgia and all and this is russia and that is moscow there and st petersburg so this will avoid the whole suez and european contract you know that i told you english channel route this is how they can go see this is kazakhstan ya Kazakhstan is as big as India. You know what is the population of Kazakhstan? Just Bombay. One Bombay bus, pure entire population of Kazakhstan. And the best part of it, there are more ladies there than gents. So I said this at a conference, and they said, "Arey, chalo next conference in <laughs> Almaty." But there are more ladies there than men because see the men don't survive there. You know why? Because the temperatures in winter is minus 50 degrees with wind, and in summer it is 50 degrees. 100 degrees me, ye log sab mar jayenge. Aap log ko kuch nahi hoga. See, Kazakhstan has got huge uranium, which we want, and that is why we are helping Kazakhstan. So the president of Kazakhstan was the chief guest for our Republic Day parade some time back. So they say. Behind that warm welcome, which India gives, the highest respect we can give to any foreign guest is the to call him to be a chief guest at our Republic Day parade, right? So behind that warm welcome, there is a very cold calculation. Remember this. मतलब की दुनिया है, right? <laughs> Next, is South Africa. See in the history of the world, the color of the skin, religion. everything will be used as a fault line to dominate thi duniya mein kuch nahi sahi galat jiski laadi uski bhais simple that's how the world operates that's how russia america all these guys chinese operate so we indians need to learn that lesson see here they used the color of the skin apart height and kept them down south africa you know Vasco da Gama couldn't come down here. He couldn't come across the Cape because the sea is very, very rough. It took them seven years to round the Cape, and it is after this year when he came here into the Indian Ocean. It is we Indians and Arab traders who got him to Calicut. Next, please. This is Cape Town, right? Our IPL matches were there, no? That beach, right? Yes. Next, Singapore, the Straits of Malacca. The dilemma for Winston Churchill was in the Second World War whether to sing, let Singapore fall or to let London fall. So, what did Bandar ne kya bola? Let Singapore fall. London needs to be kept. So, this is Singapore. See, Tamil is official language in Singapore. Do you know this? Tamil is official language in Singapore. Tamil of all our Indian language, Tamil is the most international language. Tamil is official language in Malaysia also. So this is the only way to get into the Indian Ocean from the Indian Ocean into the Pacific is to go here. 
why singapore next singapore city again it's a tax haven lot of indian companies flipkart is out of singapore <laughs> right next and this is bali bali indonesia indonesia is a muslim country today but bali is a hindu island because once upon a time we ruled there and this is the only other route which you can take the bigger ships can take into go into the pacific next so they go from bali here this is bali makassar and then into the Indus pacific ocean right there is no other way see in the sea also there are lanes sea lanes they call the sea lanes of communication sloc make a note read them sloc aise kidhar bhi aap ghum nahi sakte because there are rocks and if you hit a rock your ship can be grounded in no like the iceberg like titanic what happened to the titanic that will happen to your ship next see this is the only way to go from the indian ocean into the pacific that singapore here so singapore fell to the japanese in the second world war right next see this is how the world's oil flows duniya ka energy kaise ghum jata hai dekho there is no other way ye dusra koi rasta hai nahi right there is no other way next and this is how the undersea cables your internet आपका इंटरनेट बंद कर दिया तो क्या करें आप नथिंग टू डू राइट दिस इज केबल ऑल्सो गो दिस वे ओनली देर इज नो अदर वे देर इज एब्सोल्युटली नो अदर वे नाउ द द अमेरिकन ब्लू ऑफ दैट नॉर्थ स्ट्रीम द रशियंस आर थ्रेटनिंग कि हम लोग आपका अंडर सी केबल काट देंगे ज्यादा गड़बड़ की तो अंडर सी केबल काट देंगे आप लोग क्या करेंगे सब जन मजे करेंगे नो इंटरनेट नो स्कूल नो कॉलेज नथिंग Good fun. <laughs> We can go back to Gilly Danda. <laughs> Next, see the data is the new oil. All the data centers, everything is. This is how it goes. There is no other way. दूसरा कोई रास्ता ही नहीं है. Geography is a given. See, दुनिया में दो चीजें हैं जो बदलती नहीं हैं. You know what? We keep saying change is the only constant, right? But I beg to differ. There are two things which don't change. Which are those? Which will never ever change. One is human nature, right? You want to be queen, right? We all want to be queen, right? You agree, all of you? Yes. And they all want to be king, <laughs> right? But who will be king and who will be queen is a big question. The alpha male and the alpha female. Discovery, dekha apne? National Geographic. The fight to be the alpha. right the alpha male the dominant male the dominant female right it's a big big fight people die the animals die for it because everything comes with that the respect the honor everything now india wants to be alpha humko bhi jana hai china bhi jana hai they all want to topple america america wants to be there so that is the fight in the world going on data is the new oil next please is the indian ocean you know we are the only country in the world with an ocean named after it do you realize yes, there is no chinese ocean there is no american ocean british ocean french ocean suna hai russian ocean sea hai na ocean hai kya awaaz karta hai kya hai kya ocean hai kiska hamara hai अरे अमिताभ बच्चन से भी बड़ा डायलॉग है मेरे पास माँ है तो हम बोले मेरे हमारे पास ओशन है क्या बोल सकते हैं आप दुनिया के लोगों को हमारे पास ओशन है आपके पास है क्या अभी मोदी जाके बोलने वाले अमेरिका में आपके पास ओशन है क्या नहीं है ना राइट लुक एट आर लोकेशन वी हैव द बेस्ट लोकेशन इन द वर्ल्ड ऑन द वर्ल्ड मैप द बेस्ट लोकेशन यू कैन एवर ड्रीम ऑफ ऑन द वर्ल्ड मैप इज इंडिया right do you agree look at that we are a tropical paradise right tropical paradise hai na himalay bhi hai registan hai samundar hai everything god has given us everything and that is the curse 
वॉट इज द कर्स ऑफ इंडिया इट इज कॉल्ड द कर्स ऑफ जोग्राफी को इतना बढ़िया क्लाइमेट दिया है किसको काम करना इधर मजे करो राइट एंड दैट्स वॉट वी बीन डूइंग लास्ट टेन थाउजेंड इयर्स दैट्स वाई पीपल कम एंड अटैक अस Why do people come and attack us? Because we don't want to fight. We don't want to fight. हम लोग सब फुसकी है. That is the fact. See the British. आज ब्रिटेन को जाके देखो वर्ल्ड मैप पे है कितना सा है. And they came and conquered us by sea. Why? Because we don't look at the ocean. We don't look at the ocean. How much time do I have? What's the time, please? Okay, I got ten minutes more, maybe. Right, ten, fifteen minutes. Yeah. Right? We don't. Have you heard of Dilip Donde? Anyone heard of Dilip Donde? No. Nee? Make a note of his name. Dilip Donde. D O N D E. Dilip Donde. You know, he was an ex Navy officer, Indian Navy. He is the first Indian. Who have gone round the world in a sailing boat? कितना boat होगा वो इधर से लेके ये इधर ये stage ये stage का वो वो end तक के बस वो end भी नहीं पूरा that's half the stage that's the size of the boat solo he went round the world round the world solo Dilip Donde ma'am you should invite him I'll help you get him he's a good friend. Hmm? Dilip Donde. He's written a book called The First Indian. If you want, please read it. You can order it. First Indian. We don't even know him. That is the tragedy of India. Then he trained another guy, Abhilash Tomi, again Indian Navy. He went round. This program was called the Sagar Parikrama. India is waking up to the ocean now. Because if we don't claim our ocean, next. Read this now. This is I am quoting from the Indian Express, 2009. Read this. This could happen if we don't wake up to our ocean. The Chinese are telling the Americans, these Indians are idiots. They are sleeping. You take the Pacific, give us the Indian Ocean. Basically, that's what it is. This was published in our Indian Express. See, Dilip Donde, according to me, should be more famous than Sachin Tendulkar. Not because Sachin is not a great cricketer, but cricket will not make us great. But if we claim the ocean, this country will become a great country. That is the reason why I feel that Dilip should become a more famous than Sachin. You read it? You know what is the culture of India? The tragedy of India. We are a subcontinent. We all know this, right? So we have a continental culture. Kya culture ho gaya hamara? Continental. Whereas we have an ocean also. We should have a maritime culture. We don't have a maritime culture. We lost it. Why? Because we had this self-imposed idea of kala pani, that if you cross the oceans, आपका धर्म भ्रष्ट हो जाएगा, आपका वर्ण भ्रष्ट हो जाएगा. This was our own self-imposed taboo, which we imposed on ourselves a few thousand years ago. And even now, people don't want to cross the ocean because of that. And that is why. A person like Dilip Donde, no one knows him. No one knows him. You know, there are six ladies who went around the world, again from the navy, trained by Dilip and Abhilash. And out of that, one lady is being trained now to go solo. She will become the first Indian lady to go around the world in a sailing vessel. You can read that. Those six ladies have done it. I've met them also, and they came to Pune. Next. See perspective is everything. How you look at the world. हम हाथी को हाथी करके देख ही नहीं रहे. हाँ हाथी का पैर लगे बैठा है, उसकी सूंड लगे बैठा है, 
उसका कान लेके बैठे हैं यू नो दैट फोर ब्लाइंड मैन एंड द एलिफेंट ना स्टोरी हाँ वी डोंट सी द एलिफेंट फॉर वॉट इट इज लुक एट द वर्ल्ड मैप फॉर वॉट इट इज आप पूरा देखो तो सही मैप कैसे है सी द होल एलिफेंट वी आर नॉट लुकिंग एट द एलिफेंट नेक्स्ट प्लीज सी दिस इज द इंडो पैसेफिक रीजन अभी आप सुनते रहते हैं ना इंडो पैसेफिक इंडो पैसेफिक द सेक्रेटरी ऑफ स्टेट द अमेरिकन गाइज इन बाइजिंग नाउ टू डिस्कस द इंडो पैसेफिक वॉट इज द इंडो पैसेफिक दिस इज द इंडो पैसेफिक द इंडियन ओशन एंड द पैसेफिक ओशन ना इफ यू डोंट लुक एट द इंडियन ओशन वॉट विल हैपन टू अस द चाइनीज आर ट्राइंग टू डू अ डील विद द अमेरिकन सो वॉट दॉट वॉट हैज बीन प्रपोज सी जपान राइट दे ऑस्ट्रेलिया इंडिया एंड अमेरिका इज योर सो दीज फोर कंट्रीज विल गेट टूगेदर एंड बैलेंस चाइना दैट इज द गेम गोइंग ऑन इट्स कॉल द क्वाड क्यू यू ए डी जस्ट रीड अप ऑन द क्वाड सो दिस इज द इंडो पैसिफिक क्वाड 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 इज द the four nations right so this is all going to have a lot of bearing on your business so whatever domain you follow whichever sector you go in next please and this is what an american admiral said 100 years ago he is the fellow alfred thayerman who shaped the american naval doctrine he said this 100 years ago kitne saal pehle bola 100 saal pehle bola usne और हम क्या कर रहे हैं सी इन फोर्टीन नाइनटी एट वास्को डिगामा केम टू इंडिया लाइक आई टोल्ड यू राइट इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी एट द पोर्चुगीज बिल्ट अ मेमोरियल देर इन लिस्बिन पांच सौ साल बाद की द वॉयज टू इंडिया वास्को डिगामा इज वॉयज टू इंडिया बिग मेमोरियल इन लिस्बिन आई बीन देर राइट पांच सौ साल बाद उन्होंने मेमोरियल बनाया आफ्टर द वेकेटेड गोवा एंड वेंट In 2008, we had Ajmal Kasab coming by a fishing boat and taking over India, Bombay. See, the last conquest of India was not by land; it was by sea. Remember this: it was by sea. Zameen se koi nahi aaye, Patan log nahi aaye, Mongol log nahi aaye, udhar se Khyber pas se. They came like this by the ocean, by the sea. In 510 years. हमारी हालत देखो क्या है सो डू वी हैव अ फ्यूचर इफ यू डोंट लुक एट द ओशन डू वी हैव अ फ्यूचर इफ यू डोंट सेलिब्रेट दिलीप दोन दे राइट ही शुड बी सेलिब्रेटेड ही शुड बिकम द मोस्ट फेमस इंडियन नेक्स्ट 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 या दीज आर द चौक पॉइंट थैंक यू वेरी मच आई होप आई कुड यू हैव लर्न समथिंग Thank you. you. Ma'am, we have time for questions. Questions, girl? Huh? Any questions? Anything? You can ask me anything. Don't worry. Please remember this. You'll never look at the world map in the same way again. Never ever in your life you'll look at it in the same way again. पूछो यार क्या एनी थिंग यार आस एनी क्वेश्चन यस बोलो बोलो एंड बिग फाइट सी बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू कीप एन आई ऑन द द मलाका स्टेट वो बोला ना एंड एंड वो ही झगड़ा चल रहा है वापिस द चाइनीज बर्मीज इंडियंस ये वो बिकॉज दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी यू नो वॉट इज इन यू नो यू हर्ड ऑफ मैकडोनल्ड ऑल ऑफ यू What is they say number one strategy of McDonald's? The first one, two, three strategy of McDonald's is location, location, location. क्या बोलते हैं? What is the strategy of Bollywood? Entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. So McDonald's says location, location, location. This is all about location, location, location. This piece of real estate. for which they will have a third world war if anyone disturbs anything 
there could be a third world war. I showed you what happened in Istanbul. Se kya hua? Yes, India got conquered because of Istanbul. The whole of America was discovered because of Istanbul. Had the Turks not choked that Istanbul trade route, this whole thing we didn't know 500 years. Till, till 500 years ago, we didn't know this. The Red Indians were there. So you can imagine what can happen if any of these choke points is. That's why they call the choke points of power and the master keys that control world trade. The world trade, there is no other way. Are you convinced that there is any other way? Right? So this is how it is. If you don't stand up for ourselves, and we have, you know, apni kitni force thi malo Second World War mein. What was the size of the Indian Army? Dadaji, half the army came from Punjab in the Second World War. You know what was the size of the Indian Army? 25 lakh force thi. Usme se saare 12 lakh Punjab se thi. Aaj kitni force hai hamari pura India ki saare 12 lakh. <laughs> right? And whom were we fighting for? So that God could save their queen. We fought for whom? So that God could save their queen. We didn't fight for ourselves. Why? Because we don't know. We didn't know what to fight for. See the great Marathas, the Rajputs, the Gorkhas, everyone. Great, brilliant, brave warriors. No doubt about their braveness. But whom were we fighting for? We are fighting under the British flag. That is the tragedy of this country. That is the tragedy of this country. Because we will not fight for ourselves. We will fight amongst ourselves. That we are very good at. Right? <laughs> but we will not fight for ourselves. That is the problem. This is the curse of geography, of being a tropical paradise. We are a tropical paradise. Kya khana hai? Kya? What is the culture of India? You know what is the culture of India? Hindustan mein saat war hai aur aad tiohar hai. Kya bolte hai? Saat war hai aur aad tiohar hai. To hum majay majay karte hai bas. Right? This is the culture of India. I am not joking. This is saat war hai raviwar se shaniwar aur aad tiohar hai. Right? Majhe karo. Jalebi khao. Rasgulle See, look at our food. Fantastic. See, Modi, when he went to Japan, he told the Japanese, I invite you to India. And I guarantee you, I heard him on TV saying this, ki aap agar chhe Hindustan mein rahenge, breakfast, lunch and dinner, no item will be repeated. Do you agree? <laughs> Kitni variety hai Hindustan mein? Hai ga nahi? Huh? फिर काय को काम करना है <laughs> काम क्यों करना है बेटा <laughs> मजे करो यार हां सी बट व्हेन यू कम फ्रॉम अ क्लाइमेट व्हिच इज -50 एंड 50 डिग्रीज 100 डिग्रीज दैट मंगल कम्स डाउन बाबर कम्स डाउन टू दिल्ली और दिल्ली में 5 डिग्री में लोग गोदड़ी से निकलेंगे नहीं वो क्या करेगा आपको हाउ विल यू फाइट we cannot fight these guys. You cannot fight. Will you fight? Oh, they go Ukraine. Me, kaise ladre? Ham ladenge aise? Ha? Nee ladenge? Ladenge? Ha? Kitne ladenge? See, we are great fighters. I'm not saying that the Sikhs or the Rajputs or the Marathas are they are the greatest of fighters. But the problem is what to fight for. What do we fight for? See, what we need is a Chanakya. Wo paida hi hote nahi, bhoat kam hai. Hindustan mein wohi to dikkat hai na. Any, since you don't have questions, ladies, any questions? Poochho yaar, kuch to. Ask me something. Nothing. Are, itna darauna ho kya mein? Haan? Haan, bolo. Please, please. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Yes, shake, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, there is still chips uh, shortage in the automobile industry. Yeah. And it 
it's been around two three years now. and still in premium cars there are there yeah, is a big waiting list yeah, yeah. i'm getting a waiting list yeah yes. you know what is the thing is see i got said said i got a point yeah see what is happening is see the chips are coming out of taiwan most of the chips right and you know why they are coming out of taiwan the the americans build those facilities in taiwan and china is dependent on those chips silicon chips usko silicon wafers bhi bolte hai apna potato chips jaise hi hai nothing very different but every computer every phone every car has a chip right and today those there are two companies which oh, intel inside suna na aapne intel inside intel is a chip right so chips are coming out of taiwan and that is called the silicon shield of taiwan because of those chips the chinese will not attack taiwan because the chinese factories are also will show close down if the chips don't come out of taiwan so now the chinese are trying to build their own chips now we indians want to build the chips that's what modi is going to talk about in america he want to build what do you need to build chips you know what do you need to build chips three most important things is sulfuric acid India is the third fourth largest producer of sulfuric acid in the world. Hmm? Second is you need a neon gas. Ye neon lights dekhe na apne? Aisa neon gas rehta hai uske andar. <coughs> And that is a byproduct of the steel industry. So we have enough neon. When we realized when we have enough neon is when the Russians bombed Ukraine. Or neon ke prices gaye 9 times. ऊपर एंड देन वी ऑल्सो हैविंग अ प्रॉब्लम विद न्यून देन वी रियलाइज अरे न्यून कैसे बनता है क्या बनता है तो बोले स्टील से बाय प्रोडक्ट बनता है स्टील जब बनता है जब तो वी आर द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ स्टील इन द वर्ल्ड सो नाउ वी हैव स्टार्टेड मेकिंग आर ओन न्यून वी फिगर इट आउट सो वी हैव गॉट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड वी गॉट न्यून थर्ड थिंग यू नीड इज अ लॉट ऑफ वाटर अ लॉट ऑफ वाटर विच वी हैव आई टोल यू वेर अ ट्रॉपिकल पैराडाइज भरपूर है पूना में तो सबसे ज़्यादा पानी है You know the highest per capita consumption of water in the country of any city is Pune. One time, open the well, it will not be closed. Now, what do you do? This is how Pune is, sir. It's many dams. Have you all been? You all should go. Pune is a lovely trekkers paradise. Up for 15 days, stop and see. Pune will be like heaven. It will be like heaven. I'm telling you, you won't believe it. It's so beautiful here. It will be beautiful. It's like a hill station. Pune used to be called that Queen of the Deccan. Why? Pune was the second capital of the British Empire at the time. Bombay Presidency was there. Bombay was the capital. The summer capital was Pune. Pune is so beautiful. You just wait for 15 days. It'll be fabulous. You won't believe it. It's not bad. It's just one, two, three days. It's not bad. That is how Pune is. So we have water. We have sulfuric acid. We have neon gas. And what do you need? people who know how to build silicon chips the problem is we don't have enough indians making silicon chips where in india but outside india ho oh, bhare pade hain sab indian hi indian hai so this is what the government of india wants to do now to get those guys back they all mercenaries or the paise ke liye kahin bhi jayenge and build chips in india that is what is the solution being worked out now This is happening, huh? Yes, anything? Okay, we call it a day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>